Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, I am so excited. I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 Oracle decks that I use all the time on practically a daily basis. These are the decks that uh, I always use for daily pulls, for confirmations, for clients. They always seem to be the ones that I'm drawn to um, more so personally, but I have been known to use them a lot for clients. This video is kindly sponsored by Madam Glam New York, a nail company that I adore and I enjoy working with so much. So thank you very much for the opportunity to work with you again. They are a company that prides themselves on being vegan, free from 21 of the most toxic chemicals found in nail polish. And side note, it doesn't stink up your room when you use it. I love that fact. And it is animal free testing. They do not test on animals. They never will. And it is palm oil free, meaning they are environmentally conscious as well. So I am super excited because they leveled me up here with this Sun 5 Plus UV LED nail lamp, which has multiple different settings on it. So depending on what nail polish you are using, you can cure it accordingly. And it also has a section for low heat mode too. And check it out. Both of my hands fit in here. Do you know how time saving this is? This is amazing and it's automatic. So as soon as you go in, you don't even have to touch the bottom of the plate, although I will, <laughs> to just cure your nails. So I wanted to show you what I've been working on. I have been practicing the marbling technique. Look at that, just in time for spooky season. So I just wanna give you a quick tutorial on how I achieved the marbling smoky look here. And then just another big oh thank you to Madam Glam. All right, so I have these two nails already base coated and cured, and then I'm gonna go in with the green highlighter. And I love these nail polish bottles so much because they are comfortable to use, and they have the color on the top of the lid as well as the label. This is green highlighter. I'm gonna create two coats of that, and I'll meet you right back. All right, so now that we have two coats of the green highlighter on and cured for 30 seconds each time, we're gonna go in with the two-step system of the marbling. So first we have the base here that's just the marble ink, and we're gonna put it on all throughout the nail because I like to be thorough. And what it's gonna do is it's going to take away that shine for a little bit, and that's when you know you have it <laughs> on. So there we go for that one. And then I'm being really uh, fast with it. You can take your time. Um, I wanted to show you this version because I figured it out as well as on a longer nail so you can see the effects. I know I did it in the last video, but this looks a lot better. So then we're going to go in with the black marbling ink. And again, the labeling is so cool. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take it on the tips. Again, I didn't cure this yet. And then I'm going to just place it where I feel like it should be placed for like a smoky slash drippy effect. And then can you just see how cool that is turning out? I love this so much. It's such a different and unique take on nail art. And then I'm gonna do it to this side and then I'm gonna cure it. Ooh, look at that drip. Yes. Awesome. Let's maybe do a little bit more on this side. And then I'm going to cure it. And then I'm going to do the same thing again to make it a little bit um, more opaque. Okay, this is straight out of the lamp. The first go round. Isn't that really cool? Ah! Okay, let me do just another little coat real fast. In it goes. Look at that. You can fit them all in there. And it's just a 30 second cure. It is so convenient to have a bigger nail lamp. Oh my gosh. All right, all that's left now is a top coat. And then you will have to wipe this with an alcohol swab. And there you have it. Look at how fun those are. Oh, look at how they turned out. Isn't that just so fun? Just in time 
for spooky season. I am here for it. And then if you're interested in what this color is, it is called Prodigy and it has a black base with the glitter on top. So if you're interested, that is what that name is. And again, the green highlighter is the base for those two nails. And if you are interested in checking out Madame Glam for yourself, there will be a link in the description box as well as in the pinned comment by me down in the comment section that will give you 30% off your first order if you do not want to become a VIP. Although I highly do suggest um, being a VIP, you get a lot of deals and I think you're going to really love this product. I'm obsessed and I do have to give them a shout out. On their website, you can tell uh, the level of opacity of each nail polish too. They give you a uh, little rating for that too. So you are never unaware. You are always told how to use the item as well as um, you know what it's made out of, et cetera. So thank you again so much to Madam Glam New York. I love working with you. I appreciate you so much. And check them out, guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend. All right, back to the video. My number 10 is The Angels and Ancestor Oracle by Kyle Gray and art by Lily Moses. It's 55 cards and a guidebook. It retails for $18.99 in the US, $24.99 in Canada, published by Hay House. What I use this for uh, the most, I guess I would say, is when I'm trying to communicate with my spirit guides, as well as my ancestors who have crossed over. So this is a deck that is more of a personal deck for me. Uh, it's very, very well done. I love the cardstock. It feels really nice in my hands. It's very versatile. So if it's something that you want to use for just day-to-day -day pulls or confirmation, you can do so as well. But I like to use it in conjunction with my communication with spirit and my spirit guides. It just feels very comforting. It's very gentle. It gives me the correct information that I need to know um, and what to focus on. And the guidebook is beautifully done as well. And this is featuring um, different uh, spirit guides and ancestors from all over the world. So it's very diverse, very well done in um, giving you exactly what maybe you would need for communication with that. And the guidebook is fantastically done. It has a lot of information in here. So it gives you a phrase about the card, which would be on the card, and then a message. And then it gives you the about the character, I'll say, in the card imagery. So if you didn't know who a hunter was, you can get more information and then connect even further. And there's also an extended message. So further insight, further things to think about, focus on is going to be here. So it's really well done. I believe it has some spreads as well. Um, great table of contents here. It's sectioned out. So it has um, the sacred ones. It has guardians and messengers, warrior symbols, and then seasons. Yes, it does have spreads. So it has two card and then the Celtic compass and past life lessons as well as three card. So I highly recommend this deck. I feel like it's very well done. It's one of my go-tos whenever I'm doing any sort of meditation or trying to connect with my spirit guides or ancestors. My number nine pick is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. This is by Stacey DeMarco with art by Kinga Brashigi. Hopefully I'm saying the last name correctly. I do apologize if not. This is published by Rockpool and I'm not positive with how much it retails for. I'm sure it's like $21.99, something like that. But it is 44 cards and a guidebook. And this was one of the Oracle decks that I would always use for confirmation for myself and others. But now I'm mostly using it for uh, moon reading. So when we do um, the general readings for the full moon and the new moon, this is what I use for that as well. But it's a wonderful tool for just insight for a daily pool, as well as helping you learn the phases of the moon, because it gives you each phase on the bottom, as well as a keyword regarding relating to the um, full or the moon phase, I should say, is beautifully illustrated. I really do enjoy this deck a lot. And the insight is really nice as well. And I love that back. It is a gloss and it shuffles really nicely too. I don't have an issue with 
this at all. Um, it shuffles really, really nice. But the guidebook is great. It's all laid out for you in the table of contents. And then, for example, um, it will give you the card meaning as well as an affirmation. And then it goes into insight even further. Um, maybe what you should look at, look into, etc. And it gives you the companion stone and metal. So it's a really great all-in-one little oracle perfect for learning the phases and what they're all about this is a great tool for spell work as well when you're working alongside the moon phases i just really adore this deck i love it so much i feel like um it's a really good versatile deck but also a really good learning tool so that is my number nine please let me know if you have this deck because it's been around for a hot minute so if you use it if you love it let me know in the comments All right, my number eight. This deck is one that I had no expectations for. I didn't think I was going to connect with it slash like it, but when I tell you I use this a lot, I use it a lot. So this is the Angels Among Us deck. This is uh, by Victoria Maxwell, as well as illustrated by Ellie Grant. A powerful way to connect to the divine. This too I use with connecting to spirit guides. This is published by Rockpool, retailing for $21.95 in the US and $16.99 in the UK. This is stunning. This feels like you're connecting with the angels goddesses and gods that are legitimately like your neighbor like people you know every day so first of all check out the edging there hot matte pink love it there's the back it is a gloss and much like the queen of the moon oracle it shuffles really nicely a little bit stiffer but it still shuffles just fine but like super well done as far as the art goes it gives you the name it gives you key phrases or key words here it gives you a number so if you're into numerology and that sort of a thing you can connect with it that way but like look at how dynamic it is and here's an angel so you see the angel wings I mean it's just so well done and it's diverse and everybody looks as they should this is Jon Snow to me. I don't care what anybody else says, but it's just like so well done. And then I want to talk to you about the guidebook real fast. The guidebook is great. So it breaks it down who the person is. It gives you the keywords that are on the card and then a little blurb about the Oracle. So for instance, for uh, this one, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name. You are a leader of light. Work on developing your spiritual abilities and talents through study and practice. But then it goes even further. It gives you specific messages for love and relationships, for home, for work, for money, well-being, and spirituality. And then even further with how to call for assistance, what about with this particular entity, and then embodying the energy. So ways that you can really utilize the energy of this particular entity. So it's just very well done. I believe it has some spreads too. Yep, here's the three. There's a removing obstacles, general energy and then the chakra spread. So like just well done for the price tag. And I am super blown away with how connected I am with this because I thought it was going to be um, more focused on angels. And for me, not saying anything negative about them. Um, it's just not an energy that I usually work with per se. So I felt that this might be more geared toward a specific type of religious aspect. And it's not. It's super well done, very universal. You can use it for so many different things. And I highly recommend it if you are looking to further your education with with all of these entities or um, just want a really unique and different deck and side note they are coming out with goddesses among us so I definitely have that pre-ordered I'm really excited about that Number seven, this is the Magical Herb Oracle by Sherilyn Darcy and illustrated by Dear Dandy. I do not have the retail for this, but I do know that it is published by Rockpool Publishing, probably around $18.99 to $22, I would say. But this deck is beautifully done. I absolutely love it for a daily pull, for a confirmation. I, if you don't know me very well, I love working with plants and herbs. And so this particular deck is just so up my alley. 
and look at, oh, it's so pretty. So this is a gloss. There are 36 cards. There are 36 cards in this deck. I love the back. Again, it's a gloss. It shuffles just fine. I don't have an issue with it at all. But look at the illustrations. Oh, it's so nice. So what I love about it, it gives you the plant illustration as well as something related to the keyword about this plant. The It gives the title of the plant. It gives the name of the plant. And so it's just well done, as you can see in the back. And it's not overdone. It's very well done art. It's like you are flipping through like a botanical textbook. It's so neat. And you can see, so it'll allow you to use your intuition really nicely just by the subtle images in the background. So even if you're not aware of the plant or how the plant is used, just going off of the keyword here and the subtleties in the background will help your intuition so much. And then the guidebook is fantastic. So I believe it gives you some spreads. Yes, so we have the seed spread, the tree spread, and the garden day spread. But as you can see here, we have oracle meanings as well as the botanical description. So about the plant as well as the magical correspondence. And then you come over here and there's a spell. There's a spell for every single card, every single plant. And Side note, I haven't done any of them, but it's just nice to know that it's all in one book. So if you're wanting to try out different herbs and how they can be worked into your magical workings, this is a great resource for that. So I'm really in love with this deck. I feel like I use this quite often in my personal practice. So it's just very, very cool to see all of the different plants and how they relate to, you know, the magical correspondences. So great little package, not mad at it. Even though it's 36 cards, I use it a lot. It's very well versed for anything you're wanting to do. Daily pull, just a uh, checkup on yourself, or like I said, the spell work in here, if that's something you're interested in too. It's a great little package. So I would love to know if you have this because I don't really come across it that often with other YouTubers or um, any other videos. So let me know if you own this and what you think about it. All right, my number six, we have Moonology Manifestation Oracle by Yasmin Boland with art by Lori Mena. This is published by Hay House and it retails for $21.99 in the US and $28.99 in Canada. This is a wonderful deck. Um, I do really love her Moonology, the original deck, but this is something a little bit different. So I use this a lot for, again, the moon readings that we do, but what's great about it is it's not just um, about the moon phases, it's specific on manifestation as well. So if you're into law of attraction, manifesting, etc., this is a great tool on how to utilize the moon phases to work in your favor. And it's a great learning opportunity too, as far as the moon phases in the particular signs. So it's not just the phase, it's how the energy relates to the moon in a particular sign as well. So we have new moon, last moon, or last quarter, first quarter, and full moon. And it's all in the different zodiacs. It's just a beautifully done deck and it feels really nice in the hands. It shuffles really well. And um, it's a really great tool for learning all of that, but it's great for daily pools as well. And I'll show you inside, there's a lot of information. So this is full moon in cancer. It gives you a little blurb about it, as well as some info about maybe the feelings, what's going on, and then manifesting balance. So how to kind of utilize that energy for manifesting as well as a mindset. And then it gives you a ritual, um, some ideas there, as well as an affirmation, which I'm here for. And then when it's happening. So if you're not sure when the full moon in Cancer is, this says the full moon in Cancer takes place when the sun is in Capricorn and the moon is in Cancer. And then the best time to work would be on a Monday. So very cool, lots of information. And if I remember correctly, there's some spreads as well. A lot of planetary hours. Oh, there are some spreads. So we've got single, three card, and then lunar reading. 
and then there's a lot of information about the phases in the front as well. So I highly recommend this if you're learning about manifestation if, or if you're learning about the phases, etc. trying to get into astrology. This is great. It gives you quick and precise information. All right, now for the final five. All right, so this is my honorable mention. I couldn't leave it out because I do absolutely adore this deck. This deck is just gorgeous. It's stunning. So this is the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Ekaterina Golovanova. I know I probably mispronounced that, so I do apologize. This retails for $23.99 or $95 in the U.S. and... It's got 50 cards and a guidebook. I mean, when we're talking about Vivid, we are talking about Vivid with this deck. It is gorgeous. So I don't use it like every day, but I do use it often enough that I wanted to include it in here. The card stock is great. It's a bigger card. And look at just how stunning it is. It's very gentle too, but very straightforward and to the point. So it does allow you room for some grace there for yourself. So like, it's never something that's going to be like, you should have done this. It's very much like, okay, so this is what happened. Here's how we can kind of work through it. But the artwork for me is just next level. I mean, you just want to be in these waters. I love it. So this is great. It's very beginner friendly. And then the Oracle guidebook here goes further. So it gives you what the little blurb says on the card as well as more insight into it a little bit more. And then it gives you a little bit more information about the creature that's in the card as well. So it's very well done. It's an honorable mention just because I do use it, but it's not an everyday one for me. I highly recommend this if you love anything ocean related or anything, you know, water related. This is a beautifully done deck. I just love it. Look at that. Ah, so sweet. All right, top five. Coming in at number five is the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. This is 52 cards in a guidebook, and it retails for $21.99 in the U.S. and $28.99 in Canada. This is published by Hay House, and it's one that I have been very obsessed with lately because it just is one of those very versatile decks that you can use for almost any reading, anything you want to kind of get more insight into. And it's just very well done as far as art and then the different um, utilizations, like I said, that you can use. So overcoming obstacles, and then it has a little blurb underneath. You can overcome anything. Got the sword and the stone there. Uh, it's just beautiful. There's a lot here that um, can relate to everybody, basically. And if you're having questions about, you know, the next steps, what you should do next, where you should go, if you're having doubts or wondering why you're stuck, like it's a very well thought out oracle and I utilize it <laughs> quite a lot, especially for clients too. I love using this for clients. And then the guidebook is great as well. So it has the quote, then the card meaning, and then what this specific sacred traveler wants you to know. So a little bit more insight. It's just really easy to use, very beginner friendly, and super insightful. Then I believe we also have some spreads, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So we have one card, three card, and five card. And the medicine wheel spread. So that's a one year. So again, very easy to use, very beginner friendly, wonderfully illustrated. It feels like you're kind of looking into a storybook, which I am so there for. It's very fun to use and easy. So if you are a fan of the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn, uh, the Sacred Destiny, I think you'll like this one as well. On to number four. Number four, The Messages from the Mermaids by Karen Kay with art by Linda Olson. It's 44 cards and a guidebook published by Hay House. It retails for $19.99 in the U.S. and $25.99 in Canada. This deck 
is stunning. Super gentle, very easy to use if you are a beginner, and it can be so versatile as well. It can be used for daily pull, for confirmation, alongside your mermaid tarot, like whatever the case may be, this deck is great to use. It's a gloss, it shuffles great. Um, I don't have an issue with it at all. Very flexible. And the quality has like held up. I use this quite a, not, quite a lot and the quality is great still. So that's saying something, um, you know, that clear coating, right? So it's also very diverse. We have different skin colors and different hair styles, types, different body types. And the art is just beautiful. Like, so, so pretty. I get lost in it when I read with it because I just stare at the different brush strokes. It's just beautiful. Oh, love it so much. I love this too. Oh, that's the cover. <laughs> All right. So then we have the guidebook. So there are some spreads in here. There's protection information. We have um, one card, three card. We have the seashell spread, which is really cool. It's the spiral. And then we have the starfish, which is a star. And then more information and then the cards now the cards are great too the information the messages so it gives you a little blurb and then it goes into more detail this deck is very gentle it's very comforting to use so you know now is the time for you to give up or receive help asking for help uh now is the time for you to give or receive help Asking for help is the first simple step to sort out a situation. And then it goes more in depth about possible ways of you giving and receiving help. And it's just really well done. Like I said, very gentle, very easy to use. And it's a great empowering deck when you're needing a little boost. Um, the correct cards always seem to find their way uh, into your life with the great meanings behind it. So I highly recommend this if you are a mermaid lover or fantasy art lover. It's just, I mean, look at that. It's just so well done. I cannot sing the praises of this, you know, any more than I already have. It's just one that I felt so connected to and one that I just vibed with immediately. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. Ah, oh, the representation in here is fantastic. And there's males in here too. I just haven't flipped to them either. Um, but yeah, very well done. Highly recommend, especially if you like, look at that how fun especially if you're a mermaid lover highly suggest it her um oracle of the fairies is really uh, well done too so check that out as well if you are interested in this that being said we're into the top three now number three the healing oracle crystal reading cards by rochelle chairman or charman this is published by sterling ethos retailing for 19.95 five in the u.s and 22.95 in canada this is a great little set if you are wanting to learn more about crystals wanting to utilize the energy but not really knowing how or where to begin it gives you a ton of information in the guidebook about the crystals and the cardstock is great for the price i don't have an issue with it it's gloss there was like a little insert in here that I took out because I couldn't deal with it, but um, it's very well done. All right, so the back looks like this, and then on the front, it gives you the name of the crystal and then what the energy they're utilizing of that crystal. And there is a ton in here, and a lot that are you know not necessarily seen in a lot of other decks, which is great. So you get a really good cross section of different crystals. And what you can do too is use this to like meditate on the specific energy of the card. You can do it for a daily pull. I love it for a daily pull. Um, in fact, that's what I mostly use this one for. But I also use it for confirmation because it really does give you a lot more insight. This is great too if you are trying to utilize crystals in your practice but don't have said crystal. So the energy of the card, you can kind of focus on that and put it aside. You can utilize the energy of the card as the crystal. And then the guidebook is great as well. So there's a lot of information on how to use it. 
And then there's some uh, spreads here, or they call it layouts. So the one card, the shaman healing layout, holistic healing, the chakra healing. There's a lot too. Then there's divine guidance layout. So the Deva guidance, the grandmother crystal guidance, Celtic cross, and then uh, crystal elements guidance. And then it goes into the card meetings. So it'll tell you the name of the card or the name of the crystal and then the key focus for the specific card. Then it gives you insight about the crystal. So the crystal colors, the related chakras, and then the medicine or how to use the crystal. And then it goes into more meanings and then the oracle message from what they call the crystal diva or the spirit energy behind the cards. So it's a really great tool if you are learning about crystals, if you are interested in the energy and how they mean and how to use them or how best to use them. It's all in here with a lot of attention to detail. So if you're just starting out on your crystal journey, I highly recommend this. It's a very versatile deck, very beginner friendly, and you'll be interesting. You'll have very interesting readings with them. Um, things that you might not have thought um would be coming out. So like Opal, I didn't really know that Joy is a really good way of using it as well. Um, so yeah, lots of different ways like Fluorite with Learning. It gives you a lot of info. So I'm very happy with this deck. I use it quite a lot. My number two, The Legendary Ladies Goddess Deck by Anne Shen. This is published by Chronicle Books, retailing for $16. 95 in the US and 14.99 in the UK. There is also a companion storybook that I do not have. I still have it on my list that goes into more depth about each of the goddesses here. It's 58 goddesses um, from beloved artist Anne Shin. It is so cute, beautiful, well done. This deck has made a couple of my top videos, my top 10 videos, <laughs> I, I believe so. Um, it's a very inexpensive deck that packs a punch. Very beginner friendly. It pulls out from the bottom here. And they are a longer deck, so it might be a little awkward at first to try to shuffle with them, but it's completely doable. I don't have an issue. They're very flexible and they snap back just nice. It's like I have no issue with them and they are a mat and they're so well done. There's the name of the goddess as well as the keyword that relates to it. And it reminds me of the old school Disney art style of the like little posters or attraction posters and stuff. I mean, so beautiful. I absolutely adore this deck. It's great for a daily pool. It's great for empowerment. It's great for confirmation. As far as all these decks that I've shown you, they're all great for all of these purposes. And then the guidebook is great too. It's short and to the point has some rituals in here and then um, some ways of working with the cards as well as some spreads here. We have one card and the three card and then more spreads like how to utilize a three card. And then we have the divine feminine, the diamond, the year ahead. And then it goes into the goddesses themselves. So it gives you the origin of where that goddess is from and then a blurb about that and then what the oracle message is. So it's short to the point, but it's a great way for you to kind of utilize it as a maybe like a flashcard situation to get a little bit more um, insight into different goddesses around the world, as well as gives you enough information for the oracle. And if you are interested in that goddess learning more about them, you can go into further detail on your own. But it's just so well done. The only thing that I would say I would love is like a pronunciation guide on <laughs> in it because there's some in here that I'm like, how do like, how do I pronounce that and not be disrespectful? So that's my only issue is that I don't have a pronunciation guide, but it's so beautiful. I use this for almost any kind of reading that I want to do. And I just love it. It's very gentle and it's very easy. And I highly recommend this to anybody that loves goddess energy, divine feminine energy, or Disney 
kind of style of artwork. <laughs> Everything goes back to Disney. All right. And now we're going to get number one. All right. My number one deck that I use all the time, basically for anything and everything, is the Prism Oracle. I utilize this so much. So this says tap into your intuition with the magic of color. This is 45 cards and a guidebook by Nicole Pivarotto. And it's published by Chronicle Books, retailing for $19.95 in the US and $17.99 in the UK. When I tell you I use this a lot, it pretty much is in every single reading I do for myself and for clients. I love it because it's unique. It's simple. It's easy to use. There's a holographic edging there and you can utilize the color system. So there's a bunch of different shades of each color in this and then the imagery is super simple, basic. It allows you to use your intuition without forcing anything on you and you can go off of it on your own. This is just, you know, a jumping off point for you. And then to me, again, there's a lot in here that remind me of tarot cards. So this reminds me of the Eight of Wands. And that's a mirror and it's a reflection. It's so well done. And you can use it for chakra work. You can use it for, you know, however or whatever you want to utilize it for, which is why it's number one for me. And it shuffles great. It's a small size. It's travel friendly. And who doesn't want a rainbow background? I mean, it's beautiful. And then the um, information in here is great too. It's There's just enough info to get you going. And basically you can use this deck, like I said, however you want. So then we have how to sh shuffle. I don't think there's too many spreads, but we have a single, we have an aura reading, which is really cool. A general check-in new moon intentions, full moon release, choices, what's going on. And that's a more additional uses. So meditation, the mini altar, which I recommend for everything, every kind of deck. It's just great to utilize on your altar. And then it goes into the section. So it gives you information about the color, how it's utilized, and then the red cards, what they mean in a reading. And then for each one here, it gives you more information. So there's information upon information. So for instance, passion, how you perceive passion can depend on what lens you view it through. Passion may be associated with lust and temptation, or it may suggest optimistic action like a fire in your belly. This card encourages celebrating your passions in whatever form they take. It asks you to acknowledge the flame that sits within you whether it is a deep con a deep conviction, interest, or love. Find what strokes your inner fire and embrace the excitement that comes along with it. And then it keeps going with each color here. And I just adore it. I feel like it is so well done. There's so many different ways to utilize this. And I really love the idea of using it on your altar too throughout the day. Or you can, um, you know, take the card and put it on your fridge or your vanity, wherever you want to see it for the day and just keep that energy going. It's just really well done. Again, this is another deck that I didn't think that I was going to connect with that quickly or easily. But I mean, to me, this is one of the perfect iterations of a versatile deck. It can be used in so many different ways, like I said, and I just adore it. Um, so yeah, this is my number one deck that I use all the time, that I use with almost every client, um, or that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So was this the one that you thought I was going to choose for my number one? Or did you have a different pick? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm always curious, uh, especially those of you who have um, had readings from me or have been watching my videos from a long time ago. I would love to know if this is what you thought was my top pick. So with that being said, are any of your personal favorites on this list? Um, did you discover any new decks that you're wanting to check out? I have videos on each of these decks available on my playlist in the Oracle playlist, and I'll link that up in the I and down below, hopefully if I remember. 
And a huge thank you to Madam Glam New York for sponsoring this video and sending me your amazing product to share. I absolutely love it. If you are interested, again, don't forget to check out that link in the description box as well as in the comment section because they are awesome. I don't think you will be disappointed. I highly, highly recommend this brand. So with that being said, let me know everything down in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you all again. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.